Wall album. Off the Wall. 1979. God. Done by Quincy Jones. Oh. Now, yeah. there's an interesting done fact. By, done by Q. Yes. Yeah. There's an interesting yeah. fact about this song. In okay. the production of the song, mm-hmm. Michael Jackson asked his younger siblings, Janet and I think Tito, somebody like that, mm-hmm. To be hitting coke bottles and things as part of the percussion. So if you listen to it carefully, you can hear. Yes, there's a Coca-Cola bottle song. Wow. Coca-Cola. Lovely song. I'm not sure if the world has seen anybody like Michael Jackson. I mean, (laughs) the other time I was so scandalized. I said social media is telling. So people were running some comparison between somebody and Mickey J. Oh really? I said Mickey J. Who were they running comparison? No, 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 not Prince. Oh, but Prince is epic. No, no, it was it was male and female. Okay. And it was this? It's a Queen Bey. Who is that? Queen Bey. Beyonce? Know? Yeah. Oh, stop it. <laughs> like, Jackson is peerless. <laughs> I mean, Even the, in death, he's still selling trailer albums. Fact, the day he died, the internet almost died with him. <laughs> That's how bad the thing was. I mean, the day he died, the, the there was almost a crash because everybody wanted to check what was going on. <laughs> and I think his thriller album is still It's uh, the a greatest record. selling album of still all hasn't time. hasn't been overtaking. And it, it was a cassette yeah, and in those days. Like Mickey could do everything. Michael Jackson. Because so, he really find entertainment, right? Dance, so he's child. dancing, everything. <laughs> and it's all child prodigy, racial, too many things. It was, just... it was everything. Anyway, it's not a Michael Jackson morning. It's just to <laughs> set you on the right frame for the for the show. Good morning, Godfrey. Good morning, Bernard. I like your Voters Diary shirt. Yeah, I love this. And one. I must say, I'm enjoying. Yesterday, Voters Diary on TV took it to the next level. They were doing like Google, Google checks senses. on route. <laughs> Charlie, live. Yeah. So basically, now apart from the correspondent, they will also Google the route to yes. check. You, you can't run away from the satellite. No, that was really nice. That was you really can, you cool. You can't run away from the satellite. That was really, really cool. We'll and I think you. this road conversation has been useful because it's also brought us into some knowledge about things like oh, yes. 30% completion, what it means, and issues of contractors and uh, who the contract yes. was awarded to. Um, all these and, things. And the challenges governments actually face. It's amazing. The challenges yeah. governments face in managing roads are much bigger than the promises they made in the manifestos. Yeah. They have real issues in solving the road problem. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. let's start with the headlines, gentlemen. Well, front page of the Daily Graphic, Bernard Okada is back <laughs> and back in a big way. Yeah. Okada debate. Government to provide vehicle owning option, according to Dr. Baumia. Mm. COVID-19 impacts economy negatively <laughs> and cocoa farmers to earn 21% more for produce. Mm. The Ghanaian Times says, Ghana's cocoa risks EU market ban over forest reserves distraction and galamse. 250,000 MSMEs to receive financial support under COVID-19 recovery resilience program. Training of professional dispatch riders better than legalizing Okada. Hmm. CVM. Hmm. Law against domestic workers abuse passed and seven die 16 hospitalized after road crash at Gomwa Adam. Mm. Front page of the Daily Guy, the big story, policeman grabbed for robbery. Mm-hmm. NDC punches NPP in Ashanti. Nana building 98 bungalows for <coughs> judges. The Chronicle also has that same story. 98 courts, bungalows for 16 regions. Kidney student struggles to write BEC, quite sad. And Rollins advises Mali cool makers. Says Western Paris have hung multi-party democracy around our necks. Hmm. <laughs> Seriously? Fourth, yeah. Fourth page hey. of the Daily Statesman oh. newspaper. <laughs> wow. Big boost for judiciary as government builds 98 new courts and bungalows for judges. 100% cash payment to depositors of collapsed entities starts. And this is from Samia Uku. The youth <coughs> of Ghana can't trust Mahama. Hmm. The new crusading guide says Rollins wants Malian coup makers. And there's a nice picture of him and the four guys, four soldiers, nicely decked out in their military gear. VIP cut sword for first interchange in Western region. John Mahama is a hindrance to youth development, CVM, and Guta exposed over secret meeting with NDC. Mm. Front page of the BNFT, finally from me, Bernard. Pandemic hit economy contracts by 3% in quarter two. Hospitality sector shattered. Okay. This is on the front page of the BNFT. Ghana trade, Ghana China's trade value <coughs> reaches seven billion US dollars. That's good. And but at one final one, 27 million Ghana City demerge paid to shipping lines in 2019. Mm. The business finder says 90 million CDs for 25,000 businesses to cushion micro, small, and medium enterprises. COVID-19, economy contracts 3.2% in second quarter, first in 37 years, and regularized startups to qualify for tax exemptions. 
Taking you online, citynewsroom.com, the asset base of the fund microfinance firms was shot by 4 billion CDs, according to the receiver. Also, uh, accounts of clients of the fund companies duly credited. This is CBG. Meanwhile, we have a safer alternative to Okado. This is MPP. Meanwhile, Maomiya's comment is big. Government won't legalize risky Okada riders. Okada riders to be leased vehicles instead. And uh, there's a lot of Okada stories. So, for example, Okada supports Ghana's economy, according to Joshua Alabi. Meanwhile, 55 kilometers of roads in Wajagba were earmarked for construction. And still on roads, work begins on washed off portions of Boku Road after Bagre Dam Havoc. If you go to citybusinessnews.com, COPEC to publish regular consumer survey to improve services of OMCs. Also, Ghana's economy records first contraction in 37 years. Meanwhile, city stability backed by Ghana's diverse export base, according to some economists. If you go to my journal online, we will not legalize Okada business. Baumia promises a better alternative. Also, government to implement national unemployment insurance schemes soon, according to the Minister for Employment. And government is now building 98 new courts and judges' bungalows in all 16 regions. This is the president when he saw in new <coughs> uh, justices of our courts. If you go to Star News, the lead story, Akufuado will not legalize Okada. This is Baumia. Also, private schools welcome Mohammed's promise on free SHS inclusion. And Utah lecturers will be sanctioned over PUB presser. This is UTAG. This is the public university bill presser. So UTAG seems to be divided on this matter. If you go to um, Adum Online, latest list of universities not recognized by Ghana Accreditation Board and other stories on get fund debt. Administrator recount how someone collapsed while chasing money. Mm. <laughs> the Ghana News <laughs> Agency is leading with Vice President Lord VW Black Ivy collaboration. Meanwhile, ECOWAS gives Mali one week to form transition government as GGA announces it to hold elections on November 13. Let's get into the details, people. All right, then let me talk about Okada since it is everywhere on the front page of the Daily Graphic. The government has, uh, has tasked commercial motor ri motorcycle riders, popularly known as Okada, to graduate from the risky and less safe venture to safer means of transportation. The Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who made the call, said the government would not legalize commercial motorcycles because the riders would have a better option by acquiring newly assembled vehicles in the country through a lease arrangement. Dr. Baumia witnessed the signing of a strategic MOU between Volkswagen Ghana and Black Ivy, a residential and industrial estates entity in Accra yesterday, emphasized the need for safe and reliable cars in the country. The Vice President said Ghana spent up to $230 million every year treating injuries and traffic fatalities. Dr. Baumia said the transport sector recapitalization project of the government was part of an integrated and coherent policy it was putting in place mm. for the transformation of Ghana and the automotive sector and other sectors of the economy. So, quote, we need the demand to be here, but a lot of our drivers do not have the capital. Mm -hmm. And so the transport sector regeneration project will essentially help the leasing companies to provide the new vehicles for commercial drivers who can even use their old vehicles as down payment and they will then have the new vehicles which they can pay for over a period of time. This voice clip was played on the news. MPP also is assuring that they have a safer alternative. So it's more like a continuation of this. Speaking on Eyewitness mm. News, the party communication director, Yababian Sama, said the government's plan for the transport sector will cater adequately for Okada riders. He was speaking after the vice president revealed that government's proposed alternative to offer new cars to the Okada riders will help them make a living. He says government was seeking to provide a to provide more safety, more comfort, and more reliability. And he says, it's a progressive process. We are opening up the country. We are putting out the roads. We are building an integrated automotive center that vastly improves commercial transport in this country. Now, the NDC has been talking up Okada. For example, if you go to citynewsroom.com, mm. Okada supports Ghana's economy. According to the director of their campaign, Joshua Labi, 2020 campaign manager of NDC, says Ghana's economy would, have, would witness a boost when the commercial motorbike business probably called Okada is regularized. Mountain Esprited Defense of the Party's Campaign Promise, Professor Alabi said the Okada business presently supports other sectors of the economy despite it being illegal. So clearly, there's now a difference in what the two parties believe in. So Ghanaians will decide what they want. Yeah. But if you if you go to page 11 of the Ghanaian Times, the mm -hmm. Concerned Voters Movement, mm -hmm. CVM, has called for the training of more dispatch riders mm -hmm. to work for companies instead of legalizing the use of uh, motorbikes for commercial transport. Okay. In an interview with the Ghanaian Times in Accra yesterday, the founder and president of the Pressure Group, Razak 
Kojo Opoku mm. stressed the need for a deliberate policy to train more professional dispatch riders to work as permanent staff in the delivery and transport units of companies. Okay. Let me take you to the back page of the Daily Graphic, Bernard. Another mm -hmm. important story. Work begins on destroyed portions of Bolgatanga Boko Highway. Mm -hmm. Work has begun on fixing portions of the Bolgatanga Boko Highway at Kubori in the Upper East Region that were washed off by floodwaters. The road had been rendered impassable to vehicles, both private and commercial, including heavy duty trucks. A Brazilian construction company, Kires Galvao, which is already working on the company, is currently on site to address the challenge. Hundreds of private and commercial vehicles and commuters got stranded between Kubori in the Boku West District and Bazua in the Binduri District in the Upper East Region last Monday when a bridge over the flooded white vault at Kubori was submerged. Meanwhile, the Wejak Bawe Assembly has earmarked 55 kilometers of roads in the municipality for construction. According to the MCA Patrick Kumo, it inherited 500 kilometers of untarred roads from the previous administration, which managed to tar only 27 kilometers. He says, almost all major roads in the municipality will see a facelift to buttress the President Akufuado's mantra of making this 2020 a year of roads. Now, before this, in July 2016, a $2.9 million contract was awarded to Bethel Construction for the construction of three roads. And speaking after an inspection tour of various projects in the municipality, he called on constituents to vote for the MPP and the incumbent MP to continue with their good work. If you go to the back page of the Ghanaian Times, says construction works have begun on a three-tier PTC interchange mm. a project at the Kwame Nkrumah roundabout in Takrade in the Western Region. The $2 billion Sino-Hydro-funded project being executed by Mercer Sino Hydro Corporation Limited is expected to be completed in 30 months. According to a source, the first tier of the project, which is 26.5 meters, will be a roundabout to improve access to the Takrade Market Circle through the Liberation Road, while the second tier, which spans 80 meters, will link the Aguna in Kwanta Cape Coast Road with the third tier of 288 meters, expected to link the second D bypass mm. with the Axim Road. Let me give you two stories from the financial sector, mm -hmm. Bernard. Well, in fact, let's just hit There's the a economy. lot of stories there. Yeah. yeah, let me go to the statesman and then the daily graphic. 100% cash payment to depositors of collapsed entity starts. Mm -hmm. That's on page two of the statesman. Uh, pres uh, the story says the government has since yesterday begun 100% cash payment to all customers of the defense savings and loans companies, finance houses and microfinance companies whose locked up deposits were earlier settled in bonds. Mm -hmm. The payment is in line with the government's commitment to protecting depositors' funds and to shore up public confidence in the financial system. Now, if you go to page 20 mm -hmm. of the Daily Graphic, SEC to increase fund management capital to 2 million Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. The Securities and Exchange Commission is set to increase the minimum capital for fund management companies from the current 100,000 Ghana cities to 2 million Ghana cities. The Director General of the SEC, Reverend Daniel Obami, told the Graphic and Graphic Business Specialized Program on Banking and Finance Banking that the increment will be announced in a new guideline for licensing that the SEC had developed for the capital market. With regard to the increase in capital for the FMCs, Reverend Tete said once the announcement was made, Existing companies will be giving up to December 31 next year to be fully compliant. Still on the economy and payments, uh, the accounts of clients of the fund companies have been duly credited according to the CBG boss. And this was from yesterday's point of view. The bank's managing director, Wilson Addo Daniel, indicated that depositors who wish to withdraw their monies may, however, visit a branch to have their documents validated. Now, the other story is from the same interview. Asset base of defunct microfinance firms and others was shot by four billion cities now the receiver of the 347 defined microfinance and 23 savings and loans companies faced a four billion city shortfall in the asset base of defined companies it hoped to recover speaking on the point of view mr rick Ananipa said the firms called cumulatively said they had an asset base of about six billion but further checks after securing the books and records of the companies as well as their assets revealed that huge disparity and he described the state of the companies as being sorrowful when he took over. Well, let's talk about the broader economy. And on page two of the business finder, it says Ghana's year on year economic growth rate contracted 3.2 percent hmm. in the second quarter of 2020, Serious. compared to 5.7 percent for the same period in 2019, hmm. due to you guessed right the coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. Professor Samuel Enim, the government statistician, said it was the first contraction in 37 years hmm. and followed the devastating impact of the coronavirus pandemic on businesses now the 2020 second quarter gdp at current prices was estimated at 85 uh, 85 1758.1 million compared to 85 
comma three one two three one two million for the same period 2019 so those are some finally on finance ex staff of collapse fund management companies appeal for salary arrears mm. this came in yesterday on eyewitness news yeah. the coalition of ex staff of fmcs whose licenses were revoked uh, is asking the government to come to their aid and get their salary arrears paid months after losing their jobs now members of the group are also demanding immediate inclusion in the bailout package that have been announced by government the request comes after government announced that there's 3.5 billion available to settle remaining depositors and convert their claims to cash meanwhile there's a big question here mm-hmm. if you go to star news why did you now find money to pay depositors i don't go to government the story <laughs> is here it says <laughs> boga central mp isaac adongo is asking government why it raised the 3.56 billion cities to settle all locked up funds of customers of the collapsed financial firms now in a facebook post the lawmaker said quote where did you get the cash to pay depositors so the two percent they claim was the only outstanding is now worth over 3.5 billion or is it the paper that they give to depositors at no interest for five years when Akufado would not have had to pay? Then he says, God has blessed depositors with JM to save them from these wicked people. <laughs> <laughs> but no, your man, I don't go these days. He likes Facebook, pal. He's Charlie. doing things on Facebook, pal. He's dead, Charlie. So he's basically <laughs> saying, where did they get the money from to pay? <laughs> All right. Well, Bernard, I'm still focused on the economy. Quite mm. a lot happening. So allow me, uh, page two, mm. government exploring international collaboration to boost local cashew processing mm-hmm. of the BFT, BNFT and pursuance of transforming the local cashew industry by scaling up cashew processing. Government is exploring international collaborations with development partners for technical and financial support. Mm-hmm. Now, the government is doing this uh, through a lot of projects. Now, there are currently 14 cashew processing factories in the country mm-hmm. with a total installed capacity of 65,000 mm-hmm. metric tons. Mm-hmm. Of the existing cashew factories, 10 are currently active with a combined capacity of about 46 thousand metric tons the rest have shut down Mm -hmm. for various reasons such as difficulty in assessing affordable raw cashew nuts and financial constraints what about the cocoa stories you you read a few more cocoa farmers are going Mm -hmm. to earn 21 percent more for produce that is on page 16 of the daily graphic and the details are that uh the farmers will earn more for their produce in the next cocoa season than they currently receive for the same output of beans it follows plans by the government through cocoa board to raise the cocoa producer price paid to cocoa farmers by more than 21 percent so the 21 percent will translate into 625 ghana cities per 64 kilogram bag of cocoa beans compared to the 515 being paid for the same quantity of beans in the ongoing season however ghana's cocoa exports could face a bit of a challenge because mm-hmm. the eu has threatened to stop buying our cocoa if the continuous destruction of the country's forest reserves and illegal mining and prospecting for minerals are not stopped Mm -hmm. um now it says the illegal prospecting for minerals is destroying the environment Mm -hmm. and forest cover and those involved must take a second look at the matter that's a quote from ceo of cocoa board mr joseph boahin edu who Mm -hmm. disclosed this during a courtesy call on the western regional house of chiefs in second you know what's funny the program i was speaking at was actually about the new vw uh, Mm -hmm. thing but most of the stories have had to do with okada Okada. i wonder if any paper actually covered the real issue it was (laughs) the real event (laughs) because you know that's the the danger the program was about the volkswagen company and what they were doing but most of the stories are about the okada statement the graphic covered it as a meanwhile so it's okay uh, okay so but what did they say i didn't hear anything oh okay all i heard was though that they would not legalize okada <laughs> all so right. what actually happened to the car company okay so if that's if <laughs> let's go to page <laughs> three this is sad we've had a company that <laughs> organized an event Sorry. and now if we're talking about okada they're not even talking about what you did that's not fair okay so according to the story mm-hmm. dr baumia uh also commended volkswagen and black ivy for their committed commitment to join forces to raise funds mm-hmm. for longer term purchase and lease payment plans, making quality homes and reliable cars attainable. That's actually the story. You know what's funny with that? So we are dealing with <laughs> the Okada thing is a promise and a counter promise. Uh, yeah. This is actually something that's happening. Mm, yeah. Yet we, all of us are talking no, about I mean, the promise. Yeah, we just love the. You know, I don't know. Meanwhile, another troubling story mm. five die in crash on Accra Cape Coast Road, seven injured. Yeah. This is from Calvis Tete, Central Regional Correspondent. Five passengers died instantly. While seven others sustained various degrees of injury when two vehicles crashed head on at Gomwa Adam on the Cape Coast Road. The crash was between a Ford Transit commercial vehicle and a Toyota Hayes commercial vehicle. According to an eyewitness, the Ford car, while trying to overtake a truck, rammed into the Toyota vehicle, which is a Toyota Hayes. We're returning to Cape Coast from Kasua, but we realized we saw a Ford trying to overtake a truck directly behind us. It's collided with our vehicle. Our car then somersaulted and turned towards the Kaswa Road. 
the Apam District Fire Commander Adolf and Kaman Nyama appealed to roads just to be consequent on the road. Now, guys, this is the second uh, yeah. the crash in two days. Twenty-four two days. people have died because the first one had about fourteen. 14. Yeah. And this is wow. And this this road, you know, when you drive on that road, there's this place they say thirteen curves, and yeah. they say somebody died here. I wonder if people even read those things because they actually mm. are road uh, uh, warnings asking Sad, you to yeah. slow down, don't overtake here. But I don't know what people actually see those. Oh, things. That, that's that stretch of road there. Yeah. I, I, a couple of things they need street lights obviously but i think drivers also need to exercise patience because there are so many curves and basic law don't overtake in, in a curve, curve or don't overtake on a slope but some i don't even people can even read mm. Mm. you know it's i don't know anyway so it's really sad let's come back to nathan yeah let's talk some uh, west african news mm. and former president jerry john rowling <laughs> has been chit chatting with the, the members of the national committee for the salvation of the people in mali <laughs> now they uh, <laughs> Went to visit him and he's admonished the new leadership in Mali to use the transition period to exhibit exceptional leadership for the country mm -hmm. and usher her into a prosperous era. Now, he was speaking to yeah. the CNSP led by its chairman, Kenel Asimi Goita. They went to see him on Tuesday and he urged the Malian leadership to mobilize their people into taking up productive activity. But that's good, though. But you read some other the, one. The critical yes. one. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> then he says that. <laughs> is it the same place? So this, no, this because don't forget that ECOWAS has ordered them to uh, allow 18 yeah. month civilian transition. Yes. So, whilst Rollins was telling them that use your time profitably and all of that, he's also told them to improve the quality of multi party democracy that the Western powers, quote, have hung around our necks. Well, but that's not as bad as it sounded when you read it first. Mm. You know, it says <laughs> so improve the quality of democracy. In fact, if you read a horse book, eh? particularly in West Africa, Sierra Leone and Gambia in those days, mm. when anybody does a coup, the first person they come and see is Rollins. Papa J. He has this, I don't know, iconic status. I'm on school making. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> so, and the, 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 the chronicle the, made a reference to it. Yes. Now, it says, according to the former president, mm -hmm. who also once led the country as a young military officer through coups, mm -hmm. uh -huh, then it goes no, on. But you know, in the Hawaii case, there were some cases like they would do a coup and come and see Rollins. Rollins said, yeah. go back and do the right thing. Then they'll come back with another coup. And he will be sent to Charlie to uh, deal with it. He has West experience West in the, Africa. We he have has experience in the matter. We have to work let me better. let me tell you a story on the, about the story on the front page of the Daily Guide. Mm. Quite worrying. Mm. Policeman grabbed for robbery. A Lance Corporal in the Ghana Police Service has been arrested for his involvement in alleged robbery. His name has been given as Bright Akosa, who was enlisted into the service in 2012. Mm. Now, he's alleged to be part of a car snatching and robbery syndicate Policeman. operating within the greater accra and central regions hey, this is very very sad indeed okay now let's go back to politics if you go to my joy online mahama says shami magazine will go digital under ndc government <laughs> i think he's been in kumasi for a while yeah. this story is actually sourced to the ghana news agency so the national democratic congress has promised to step up infrastructure development at shami magazine a renowned metal fabrication and cliff when given the money in december election one of the party's key agendas is to introduce modding diagnostic equipment to modify the methods of repairing and fixing vehicles former president and flagbearer of ndc john Dramani mahama said at a town hall meeting in kumasi according to him the party intends to train artisans at the enclave to adopt contemporary methods of metal engineering and vehicle repairs to add value to their work so that's coming in from kumasi well let's go to the chronicle and there's a very sad human interest story here mm. it says owusu bismarck who's a 16 year old jhs3 student writing his bcs mm. in sefi draboso district or the western north region is battling with a kidney problem oh. and is appealing for help to enable him continue his education now he spoke to the chronicle and he says due to his health condition he finds it extremely difficult to read the exam papers Mm. Even the coronavirus uh, pandemic in some ways has helped me mm. to go in, and these are quotes, to go in and out for my routine checkups and also get enough time to study for the house. Mm. I can't see well on the paper when I'm reading questions. I find it extremely difficult to see the words, mm. end quote. So, yes, yeah, staying with that, then education. Mm -hmm. Ablikuma West MP supports BEC candidates. Mm -hmm. The new Patriotic <laughs> Party member of Parliament, Ablikuma West, Mrs. S. Lozo Kufan, donated 300 monodesks mm. to JHS students in her constituency. Charlie. She also donated 2,000 mathematical sets. Mm. To all final years in my BC, there's nobody give me anything. <laughs> the times have changed. You know, I, I don't know. But but Bernard, I'm still uh, asking questions about the math set donations. Mm. We brought in eight hundred thousand plus math sets for the senior high school students. Mm -hmm. 
there are 313,000 of them. So there should be extra. There should be extra. So why anyway. are we not two, giving... Two, two sources on a private schools welcome Mohammed's promise on free SHS inclusion. This is still Star FM. But on the Get Fund, we've not abandoned Mama projects. Get Fund administrator. Let me just mm. give you two quick lines on these. So it says, this conference of, of uh, private second cycle schools, CHOPS, has welcomed the promise by former President Mahama to include private schools in the free SHS policy if it wins power. According to CHOPS, the move will increase options for students when choosing which school to attend. But then there's another story on education. We have not abandoned Mahama projects, Get Fund Administrator. Mm-hmm. The administrator of Get Fund, Richard Buedu, has rejected claims that his outfit has abandoned some educational projects that were started under the SFL Jamama administration. According to him, the current administration had to put on hold and subsequently review the new contracts that were awarded by the previous administration so as to ensure value for money, insisting that these projects have not been abandoned because some of the contractors have returned to site. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so much. That's all we have time for for the newspaper review. This is still the City Breakfast Show. The City Business News is next. The City Breakfast Show.